What is your name? Family Poop. What yeah. is your maiden name? I'm going to. Yeah. Did you ever ha have a nickname? Yeah. My sister always called me Sick. Sick? <laughs> Why'd she call you that? I don't know. <laughs> so, how old are you? I'm uh, 93 and 7 months. Oh, I live in Cobra County, Holy Mirrors. Oh, wow. I was born um, the 27th. Uh, the sixth month, the 27th day, 1919. Oh, and where were you born at? I was born at home, right down there. So, where did you grow up at? I grew up there. You did? Like, where at? In here? Yes, right, right down right. there. Oh. So, have you ever moved? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I moved up here in 40. 40? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But you've still stayed in Caldwell County? Yeah, I've yes. always been in Caldwell County. Oh. Okay. Uh, have you ever wished that you had moved? Oh, no. no. Oh, no. I, I never have wished that. You never have? Why did you not want to leave Caldwell County? Well, I don't know. It was just as good as anywhere else. <laughs> um. What would you say that is your most favorite thing about Caldwell County? About Caldwell County? Yes. Well, I don't know. It was just a good place to live. Mm -hmm. For you, me, and to me, it was as good as any. Do you have any good memories from here? Oh, yeah. I had good memories of growing up. We, we worked hard, but we enjoyed it. We went and visit people and spent the night and slept in cotton piles. And we had a good time and made molasses. We had a good time, but we still worked hard. Um, did you? We had, had a good time. Well, what kind of work did you do? Oh. Whenever, oh, well, we grew up, uh, see, I grew up on a farm. We raised tobacco and corn and cotton and wheat and cut wheat and bound wheat and had uh, corn shucking. That was fun. <laughs> Shuck corn. Then we'd have a good meal to eat. Mm -hmm. And it's this good. A good life of growing up. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I was married when I was this 15 and then had children. And I've got a great big, wonderful family. I got 15, I got five kids, 15 grandchildren, 21 great grandchildren, and four great great grandchildren. And I've got good in-laws. Has Caldwell County always been a small town? Yeah. It, uh, and I used to know people all around. I mean, we used to walk five and six miles. I used to know everybody in ten miles around. Now I don't know nobody. So, has Caldwell County always been the, the name of the county? No, they used to call this Bumtown. Why do they call it that? I don't know. <laughs> so many, so many bum gunners, I reckon. <laughs> they used to be a whole lot of bum gunners. Yes. But they're not too many no more. Oh. But they, and they call it bum gunner because people that ask me where I live. I'd say in Bum, uh, Bum Town, and I said it's the biggest town that there are. You can't miss it. Wait, how has this place changed over time? Oh, Lord. It has really changed. I'll tell you, back then, people used to visit, and they'd gather on Sunday, uh, two or three families, and uh, they'd make ice cream. 
they'll have good and now you don't have no visitors. Nobody don't visit. They, but back then they did and if you got sick, they come in and done. They come in and help you. They work, but people don't help no more. Mm -hmm. And doctors who used to come to the house and talk to you, they don't do that no more. Uh -huh. They used to come out on Sunday, and now you can't see a doctor on Sunday unless you go to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. And it's changed. Uh -huh. And I don't think it changed for the best. So did you feel like you were a family? Yeah. Yes. You felt like you had it. All the neighbors was family. Mm -hmm. So what would you say has been the biggest change in Caldwell County? Lord, there have been so many changes till I don't know which would be the biggest. I really don't know which would be the biggest because it changed so much. Uh -huh. Well, do you wish Caldwell County was the way it used to be? I'd like for it to be like it used to be. Mm. How did Caldwell County look back then? Well, they wasn't they weren't no houses like they are now. See, now everything's built up in the houses and there wasn't all that many houses and they wasn't that close the houses wasn't but now there are just houses everywhere you turn and um, even even houses right in the or nearly was there many stores in Caldwell County no no they wasn't. There wasn't no stores. So where did y'all I mean, the, the closest store there was was at Granite. And we used to have to walk. And they had a movie. But it, then, it didn't talk. It just showed a picture. There wasn't no talking in it. And it was just on Saturday. And we had walked to Granite to the movie just to see a picture. It didn't talk. <laughs> was it for free? No, you didn't get in free, but it wasn't nothing. You could get a, a pack of popcorn and a big bar of candy for a nickel. And now, it, I guess it's a dollar. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was the last time you got to see one of those? Oh, the last time I walked to a movie? Uh -huh. Oh, Lord, that must have been... Oh, well, that was before I was married because I've not been to a movie but a couple of times since I've been married. And then I've not been to a movie. Uh -huh. Did a lot of people go and see movies? Yeah. And I, I don't know. I guess a lot of people go here. I don't know. But back then they was, yeah, people walked mm -hmm. and went and saw the movie, but he didn't talk. He just showed a picture. Mm -hmm. It was a, a, a black and white movie, yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. It wasn't colored like, you know, yeah. they are. I guess they're colored now, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the most popular place that people used to hang out or used to go to? Oh, yeah. That was the movie. Well, they just really wouldn't know where to go. Uh, you know, they didn't have these uh, recreation places and these pools and things like that. We didn't have it. What about church? Oh, we always went to church. We always went to church, and then they had it back whenever I was growing up. When they had a revival, it lasted a week, and sometimes two weeks. Now it just lasts three days, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, and then they used to have preaching of a morning. I mean, when the revival drum, they had it in the morning and the evening too. 
and we went to both of them mm -hmm. evening and morning. Did a lot of people go to church too, like um, in the yeah, evening? Yeah, everybody in the community around, even three and four miles away would walk. Yeah. Did you have to wear Sunday clothes? Sunday clothes. Yes. Honey, we just wore what we could get. Oh. What then? But uh, back then, whenever we went to school, you didn't change clothes every day. You wore what you you wore to school, and then you come home and put it off, and you put it on the next day. But material didn't cost you anything much, and my mother always made our clothes. She made our clothes. Did you have any brothers or sisters? I got a. I had a sister. You had yeah, it? and I three brothers. Three brothers. Were you close with each other? Yeah, we was. Uh, oh, we had uh, fussed with each other and had brackets, but we didn't allow nobody else to do nothing to each other. <laughs> <laughs> so would you say that you could protect each other? Yeah. and just play around and everything. Yeah. Did you have to share a bedroom with all of your siblings? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many beds were there in your house? Well, we had the one, two, three. When I was growing up, there's three bedrooms. But now, we had to sleep together. I mean, you know, the boys slept together and the girls slept together growing up but now everybody's got their own bed <laughs> I got my own bed now <laughs> <laughs> do you have any interesting stories that you and your brothers and sisters did together oh my brother uh, now my brother Clifford he used to make you see we didn't have toys or nothing and he made us a Ferris wheel. Oh. We had a Ferris wheel. How did he make it? Well, they were two seats, one at the bottom, one at the top. And you see, we had to push it. Um, they had two get in there, and then one would push. But if you'd give it a good push, he'd go around three or four times. Mm -hmm. But we had a Ferris wheel. He made us bicycles. Oh. And we had Tommy Hawks to walk on. Oh. And made them. Um, Hop to that. Oh. And uh, jump rope. Yeah. Okay. That was a thing, a stick up with a foot made on it, and you stood on it, walked. Them sticks. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah. Did y'all guys have any fun games you used to play with each other? Mm -hmm. Games. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, I don't remember no games that we played, not till after I was married and had kids. Then we played the uh, old maid and played the, uh, and we put puzzles together. Puzzles? And Oh. So, did you and your brothers and sisters go to school? Yeah, go to school. Went to school six months six and out six months. Oh, wow. Where did you go to school at? Right up here. It went to Calabon Town School. Just right up the road up there. Is it still a school today? No, it's not there now. I went up there all my years till I, I did go to Hudson one year. They moved it from up there and it was just a two room, a two room schoolhouse. And it had the first, second, third, fourth, and the fifth and sixth and seventh in the room. Oh. And that's as high as it went to the seventh. Oh, wow. Were you separated from boys? In the classrooms? No, the, this old, I mean, it was just in the same room. You're in the same room? Yeah. Oh, did you have any, do you remember any of your friends you used to have? 
the, my parents. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. About how old were you when you first met them? When I met the friend, well, I guess, uh, well, you know, when I started, just, well, we know them all, but I know them all after I got up, you know, big enough to remember. Mm -hmm. I know them all. I know them all before we went to school. Oh, okay. And I too. When did you first meet them? I'm mean, like, where did you first meet them? Mm. They lived around here. I mean, you know, it wasn't real close like they are now. Mm -hmm. The houses just far apart. But we always visited and played with them, even though we had to walk. But we walked when, today. When was the first time you got a car that, so you could actually drive? I drove. Mm -hmm. I never got one till. Let's see. It was in uh, the first car we ever got was uh, let's see, sixty and forty, forty-six. Um, what did your car look like? Oh, I think it was about a thirty-two Chevrolet. I think that's what it was. Who taught you how to drive? Uh, I just drove myself. Oh. <laughs> I just learned myself. I got in a car one day. I had Dwight, Hubby, uh, and Edith, and I put them in the car and I worked for about an hour to get that car turned around. But I got it turned around and I went over to one of my friends. We didn't have to have no driving license, and we didn't have to have that. We just learned ourselves. So how do you feel about people today having to get their license to drive? When we got, I don't remember how old I was whenever I, the first license I got. I don't remember, but anyway, I do remember how much it cost. It cost a quarter. And then you could go to the gas tank, buy a quarter's worth of gas, and go on it for... So how do you think the ga gas prices are today? Are they high today? Yeah. It's three forty nine. It is. A gallon. Mm -hmm. A gallon. Three forty nine. Yes. And we used to go to the gas tank and get a quarter's worth. Oh. And did your teacher sign a lot of homework? Did I do lots of homework? No, not really. We didn't. Uh, we didn't do too much homework. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we just went to school six months. Oh. Then, did you have books? Yeah, you we did? had books. Oh. We learned. I learned. Can you describe what you learned? Not really, except. We learned ABCs and how to count, you know, by ones and then by fives and by tens. And how old were you when you went to school? I was six. six. And how old were you whenever you got out of school? I quit whenever I was 15. Now, I, what was the reason why you quit? Well, I got married and I, of course, uh, after they moved us from up here, what they called the Bumtown School, and they moved us to Hudson, I didn't like school. And really, I don't know, uh, but one anywhere around here that ever graduated, and they walked to Hudson to do that. And that was my aunt, Tula mm -hmm. Bumgarner. And she woke to Hudson, and that's the only one that I know of in my growing up that graduated. Now, so it was popular for people not to graduate school? They did graduate then. So, were you a good student whenever you were in school? Well, I reckon. I never did get in no trouble. Uh -huh. I reckon I was, you know, uh, 
there's these two classrooms, yeah. and they had the first grade, the second grade, and the third and fourth in one room. And in the sixth, or fifth, fifth and sixth and seventh in one room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's oh, different okay. ages. Yeah. <laughs> like, who were, were most of your teachers males or females? My teachers. Oh no, we had men, women. Men, women. Women. Oh. We didn't have no men teacher. No. Um, it's like, what did the what happened whenever the students got in trouble? Like, like did they get sent to the principal's office? Oh yeah, yeah. Like paddled. Yeah, they used to, you know, paddle you. Uh, what they call spanking you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. Did you ever have that happen to you? No. You never did? No. Uh -huh. Some of them did, but now they don't do that now. They don't even do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think it's something normal for somebody to do that? When yeah. They, if, oh. <laughs> did you have like a lunchroom? Oh yeah, you yeah. We didn't have, we we didn't have uh, cafeterias. Mm -hmm. We didn't have no cafeterias. It was just two rooms, and we had to carry water from the spring. How was that like carrying water from the spring? That was okay because we was used to that. Mm -hmm. We carried water. We carried water from springs, and so they did somebody go with buckets, you know different ones at different times and bring up water. Did you like spring. doing that? Yeah. yeah. It was. Like, how long was a normal day of school for you? Well, I don't, I don't think we went six, eight hours. I don't think. I think it just about six. Okay. At six hours. What did you usually do once you got home from school? Oh, we had to work. Mm -hmm. what, did, what did you work on? On the, in, on the farm, we had to, uh, in the wintertime, we had to pick uh, cotton, pick cotton, you know, and that's something that you, you pick it over and over. You don't just pick it one time. Yeah. Of course, I don't guess y'all know that. But uh, it was just like, uh, some things that you know that you have to do, keep doing over and over. We had to pick cotton, yeah, when we come home from school, we had to pick cotton. Mm -hmm. Now, is it something that you just had to do it, or did you want to do it? Well, we had to do it. Mm -hmm. You see, that's what we lived off of, was our uh, farm. And see, we raised uh, all that, plus the garden stuff, and then we had our cow, we had our milk, our butter, and uh, we raised chickens, we had our chickens, we raised hogs, we had our meat, and you had to work. So once you got out of school, did you want to be a farmer, or was that the only thing you could do? Well, I, I enjoyed it after I grew up. I mean, I've always enjoyed my garden, and I always raised a garden. And uh, of course, it got where you didn't have no farm work much to do because it's built up in the houses. You ain't got no farm ground much. But uh, I love to work in my garden, and then I love making my quilts. I used to quilt, but I got where I couldn't see to do that, and I got where I can't do work in my garden. And I really miss, I really miss my garden, and and miss uh, sewing, and I miss checking on people. Yeah. It's sick. When was the last time that you've um, talked with anybody that used to, that used to live around here? Yeah. Uh, uh, Sarah, on Sarah? the telephone. Yeah. Oh, on the telephone. Yeah. Does she still live around here? Yes, yeah, Sarah yeah. comes to see me, yeah. And, but for anybody else except just the family are calling me, they don't, nobody call. Um, now Sarah calls me, Sarah. and she comes to see me. 
and uh, Madeleau, but she had never come up, but Madeleau's 84 or 94. She's a little bit older than I am. I catch up with her, but then she goes off and leaves me. Have you known Sarah and Maddie Lou for a long time? Sarah? Yes. Oh, honey, I've known her all her life. All your life? Yeah. So you guys I think she told me, I'm not positive, but I think she told me that she was 78. Oh, 78. And I've known her all my life. I mean, all her life. Does she look up to you as a big sister? Yes, yeah, she does. What is one of the memories that you and Sarah have that mm -hmm. you remember the most? No, nothing on the dish. You see, I'm so much older than Sarah. What about Maddie Lou? Well, Maddie Lou, we used Maddie Lou. Now we used to go to the movies together. Oh, did you? When I mean, but she married young too. She married huge this year than like me. Oh. So, when did you get married? I was married uh, when I was 15. When you were 15 years 15. old? And I had my first baby when I was 16. 16. Oh. So, yeah. who did you get married to? Russell Cook. Now, how did you meet him? Well, I just say we just grew up in the same territory here. Mm -hmm. And I, I met him, I know him all my life before we was ever married. You see, so I don't remember this. Um, was it normal for somebody to get married at a young age, like 15? Well, yeah. They're not getting married that young no more. Don't seem like. But back then now, Madeleau was just 13. And I thought I was young. <laughs> <laughs> were your parents happy that you got married? Yeah. They were. Oh. Now, were they happy that you were going to get, um, that they were going to have grandchildren? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my daddy, of course, now mine wasn't the first one. My sister's was the first one. Oh. <laughs> But then mine, uh, mine come along was the second, and, and then my other, one of my brothers was uh, the next one. I mean, I didn't have all mine until after they had some, but I was the first one. My sister was the first, and then mine was next, and then my one brother was the next, and then one brother the next. And of course, they come along, like I said, we didn't have them all. I didn't have all mine whenever they had them. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was the second one. Yeah, my mother and daddy was pleased. Whenever I had my first and dropped, if he cried, Mom would say, will you get him? If you don't, I will. And he was spoiled. He oh. was. So did your parents help you raise your, your kids? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, they help. Yeah, they done. Mm -hmm. uh, when my last baby was born, I, it was twins, but I just raised one. My daddy took Joe and kept him to, to take care of him. He took him and took care of him, and he thought the world of all. He, he, he was Joe. You, do you describe yourself as a daddy's girl or were you a mama's girl? Well, I think that I was just as much one as it was the other, I think. Now, now my daughter was more, seemed like my voice was more for me when Evanessa was growing up, but now my daughter was more for her daddy. Seem like, you know, then. Did you like having that close relationship with your parents and also your kids? But we had a, a good la relationship. It seemed like she, she was just more like attached to him, you know. You know, everybody's got one that they're more attached to, seemed like, than others. I mean, you love them all, but. It's not that you don't love them, you're just attacked. 
do. It seemed like she was more for her lady. Um, how many children did you have? Six. Six. Six children. So, mm -hmm. what were their names? What are their names? Mm -hmm. Black, Harry, Edith, Jimmy, Joe, and Wayne. Mm -hmm. Do they all live here in Caldwell County? No. They all live in Caldwell County, but one in Edith lives in Burke County now. Oh, but they still live in North Carolina. But the boys all live in Caldwell County. Okay. Yeah. Now, how many boys did he have? Oh, I had five boys. Five boys? I had five boys and one girl. Oh, well, wow. now, one girl, my wow. twins, I had a girl, mm -hmm. but she just lived three weeks. Mm -hmm. My last one was twins. And I just raised the boy. One of them was born, one was girl, and I just raised them, the boy. Do you get to see your kids often, though? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But that's about all I do see. Do you not see, um, do you not have grandchildren? They had children? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. My daughter's got three. Joe's got three. Jimmy's got two, Dwight's got two, Wayne's got two, and Harry's got three. So where did you have your kids at? I had them here at home. You did? The last ones, uh, it's in the Black Lovers Hospital. Mm -hmm. The rest of them was born at home. Wait, what hospital were they born at? Black Welder. Is it still a hospital today? It's no, it's not there now. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they ain't got, the, they had three uh, hospitals up there then. They had a Cowell Hospital, but now it wasn't where it's at now. It's not? It, no. Mm -hmm. And then they had the one that's uh, Dooley's Hospital, mm -hmm. and they had a Blackwater's Hospital. But now uh, they built that new, that big one, Cowell. Mm -hmm. Cowell, yeah. And Blackwater's and... Um, Dooley's is gone now, yeah. Now, was the Blackwell um, Hospital big? Well, it's pretty big, mm -hmm. I thought. <laughs> but not as big as the one is now. Now, did a lot of people have their kids at home or at the hospital? When I was growing up, everybody had them at home. And uh, all mine. But the last one, yeah. And then, um, now all my, uh, all my children, kids, has been born in the hospital. But now mine was all born at home. But you see, the doctors got where they didn't come out. Mm -hmm. They used to come out on Sunday, and they don't do that no more. Do you wish that that still happened? Yeah. Did you have any jobs? Did I have any job? Nothing except uh, I, w I worked at home till after I was 48, 48 years old. Then I had to go to work. And the first job I worked at, I made 75 cents an hour. Second job that I had was a, a dollar an hour. Was that a lot back then? Then you could buy this as much with it as you could. $50 now. Um, what was your job? His winding. Can you describe what that was and what you did? Well, we winded the, the cotton was wound up, but then we wound the thread and used to, oh, I can't call it things now, used to bet the cotton. I'd like to have one of them. Do you still remember how it looks like and how it feels like to go to work? Well, I didn't like to get up and go to work. <laughs> you like being at home. <laughs> but what, I had to go. What time did you wake up? I'd get up at 5 o'clock and then get ready. But I didn't have to be at work till 7. We just went to work at 7. Only one, I worked on the third shift. Mm. I went in at 10 and worked till 6 in the morning. Did you like that shift? I liked it. Okay. Because I could come home, do a little bit of what I needed to do, and then go to bed, mm -hmm. get up and do a little bit more.
Mm -hmm. I liked that pretty good. Did your mama and daddy work? Yeah, they worked at the cotton. They worked at road hiss and the cotton mill and drove a horse and buggy. <sighs> did they own a store? Mm -hmm. Did they have a store? They they did have a store, but it was after they, you know, quit the cotton mill and everything. They did, yeah. Uh, did you help your mom out with the store? Yeah, some. Did you get to meet a lot of interesting people? No, just uh, just the people in the community room. Mm -hmm. It was. Oh, that was after all my kids was born before they ever had this store. Was it the only store around here? There wasn't no store around here. The closest store there was, it was at Granite. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, there wasn't no That's stores sure. like there are now. What kind of store was it? Oh, they sold uh, all, but you see, we didn't, when we, uh, when I grew up, we didn't have to buy nothing but just coffee and sugar and salt, or, you know, just stuff like that, because we had our other stuff, mm -hmm. canned, you know, raising canned stuff. So did you have any toys growing up or anything of that? No, you know, we didn't have no toys on what was made. Not to like to, oh, I guess I was, Five or six years old, and then I got a doll. I don't remember ever having one before, because we didn't have toys. And then another thing, there wasn't no such things as there are now. There wasn't no toys like there are now. Now, what about the TVs and all the electronic stuff? Did you ever have a TV growing up? Wasn't no such thing as a TV. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first time you got a TV? Well, we never got a TV to, for because uh, I would say, see, we now when we built here, we didn't have electricity. We didn't have running water. We didn't so, have that. So how did you work everything? Like where did you put the food? And we never got electricity till uh, forty-seven. Sometime in the late forty-seven, we got. And I'd say maybe we got a television about that'd be the last it's along at the last of forty seven whenever we got late Tuesday. And I'd say that it would be about two years after that before we ever got a television. Mm. Where did you keep your food cold? You didn't feed it though. Well well now whenever I was growing up we had a spring and what they called a spring box. And you took your milk to that spring box and kept it cold. Your milk and your butter and your stuff. Then after we moved up here in 40, see from this, from then or up here, they had an ice box, what you call ice box. And of course, you just don't know nothing about that. <laughs> You had to so, buy ice, didn't you? But you had to buy ice. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. can you describe how it looked like? Kept your stuff cold. Oh, okay. And her daddy delivered ice. And then the first refrigerator we got, the mother was sitting on top of it. Did you like the refrigerator or did you prefer the ice box better? Well, I guess the refrigerator was better, but uh, <coughs> I don't know. But it was sometime, but it was... See the motor, I, the motor somewhere you don't see it, but the motor then, on the one we had, sat on top of the fridge of that. There are changes in the, everything. There's changes. What would you say is the biggest change? Mm -hmm. What is the biggest change? Lord, I don't know. There's so many till I don't know which one would be the biggest. Well, what would you say is one of the biggest? Mm. What would you say is one of the biggest change? Like just one, and just. I I guess I'd say the electricity biggest things because then you know, you could have, 
And we didn't have no washing machines nor nothing like that. You scrubbed your clothes on a scrub board. You went to the spring where the water was and you heated your water and you washed and scrubbed them on the scrub board. You boiled them. You hung them out on the line. And in the winter time, they'd freeze before you get the peg. Now, did you have to do this or did your mom do it? Yeah. See, after we moved up here, we didn't get a well till about three years. And I had to carry the clothes and the baby and go to the spring. Getting back onto the job subject, like, would you say that jobs have changed since back then? <laughs> would you say how jobs have changed since then? Would you say jobs have changed since Jobs. Yeah. Yeah. They changed. Why? Like, and there are more jobs. Are and you, more different kinds of jobs. Like, have you always wanted to be that? Or did you wish that you could be a teacher or a doctor or something else? No, I never did wish for that. Why not? Well, I guess I just didn't know no better. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the Great Depression? Yeah. That was in 35. How old were you? 16. Was it hard? Not really, because uh, we, had it we raised our stuff. <laughs> so you didn't hear about it um, that much? You yeah. Yeah, I heard them mm -hmm. talking about it, but uh, like I said, it didn't affect me all that much because we raised our stuff. Mm -hmm. Did any of your family or friends get affected by it? Did any of your family or friends get affected by this depression? Not really. Not really. Did you hear it on the news or anything? Hmm. No, I didn't hear no news. When did you first hear about the Great Depression? Because we didn't have no, we didn't have nothing to hear no news on. You didn't have electricity to have a radio and things like that. Where where did you hear it from? Well, people did talk about it. Do you know where they heard it from? No. Do you remember whenever it first ended? No, I really don't. You don't? No. So when someone says the word the Great Depression, what comes up in your mind? I don't think about it. You don't? don't? Think about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, do you think it's kind of weird that now we are learning about that in school? What you lived through? Yeah. They're learning it all. Yeah. We didn't do that. You didn't? Did you ever think that we would be learning about that? No. No? Not then. <laughs> do you think it's kind of crazy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, like back then, did you have, were there segregation laws? Like were you separated from blacks? Oh yeah. You were? Yeah. <laughs> you were? See, um, they wasn't mixed then, no. Um. Oh, they're mixed now. Mm -hmm. But they wasn't mixed then, no, they separated. So did you ever have any black friends? Black friends. I never, till after I was, uh, Till after I went to work, on um, public work, I had a couple of good friends, mm -hmm. and they was black. Oh, okay. Did you ever get in trouble whenever mm -hmm. you had those friends? With any of them? Mm -hmm. No. Well, well, what about all the laws and they said that you're not allowed to be with them? No, uh, because like I said, we didn't have no black friends when I was growing up. That was after I went. Oh, oh. but what about whenever you were growing up? What was it like? Were you not allowed to talk to any black people? When? No, uh, there were no black people around in the com in the community. So not at school or at the stores or no. No. Now, um. In the restaurant, do they have color sections? I never was around them, but I went to their meetings where uh, they eat uh, and uh, mm -hmm. 
And I've been to the preaching. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Oh. So did you like being around black people? Yeah. Did you wish that you could have been? No, because I never, I really she never thought about it. She, mm -hmm. she didn't know any difference. Oh, okay, so it was just normal for you. So what uh, what do you think about it now, how we are, we can have black people and colored people? Do you think it's, it, it's not normal? Yeah. yeah. You know what? I, I, now, I don't, uh, you know, people might say something about the acts like that, but I always said that uh, God created them just like he did us. Mm -hmm. And they had a soul just like we did. Mm -hmm. I've always respected them, but she didn't have no friends back then because there wasn't none just around. No. But did any of your <coughs> white friends um, think different? Now, do you remember the World War um, II? World War II. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember World War II because uh, my two brothers, well, all my brothers, but two of them was in there for four years and five. Did they survive? Yeah. They did? Mm -hmm. They did mm -hmm. in service. They did. They, and then my... Uh, my husband was called in uh, 45 in World War II, and now uh, the war ended in 46, and he come back in 47. But now my brothers was in there for about four years. Yeah, I remember World War II. You do? Now, how was it like? How was your daily life? Well, that was kind of uh, back uh, in World War II, uh, shoes was rationed, food was rationed. What else? You had to have stamps to get a pair of shoes. So you would say that your life has changed whenever World War II happened? It did. And I know whenever yeah. they bombed Pearl Harbor, yeah. They bombed Pearl Harbor yeah. the seventh day of December. You still remember that? Yeah. I don't de recollect this uh, what year it was, but I believe, you know, I believe it was 40. And how old were you? Well, I wasn't 25 because they bombed Pearl Harbor before uh, oh, Joe was born, and Joe was born in 40, 44. But were you scared whenever your dad and your two brothers went off to war? Yeah. He, yeah. You didn't know whether they was going to come back or not. Did they have a choice on going? No, they drafted them. They drafted them. You had to go. Now, can you explain what drafting means? If you didn't go, they, they got you. They put you in prison. You had to go when you was drafted. They drafted my brother, my oldest brother. They drafted him the first day of December. And that's the reason I said I'm believing it's 40. That they, and they directed him the seventh, uh, the first day, and they bombed Pearl Harbor the seventh, and they shipped him right on overseas. Just, I don't think it was two months till they shipped him overseas. Now, was he scared on going to yeah. service? Was. Were your parents scared also? Yeah. Did your brothers ever have any wounds? Were they, did they ever get hurt in the war? Yeah, um, my one brother got blowed up with a mine, uh -huh. and they loaded him on a truck to bury him. Oh. And found out that he was still breathing. And then he come back, he never was, never was himself. Oh, What's his name? Uh, Calvin was his name, but we called him Bud. 
and my other brother stayed in the hospital over in England okay. for 12 months. Oh, did they call you? Yeah, they, they let you know about them. But then my brother, they sent him back, and whenever he come back, uh, that, that one that got blowed up on the mine, he never was right out to come back, and after he come back, he took them seizures. Oh. Off of bed. Mm -hmm. And he, he never was himself, no more. Did you miss your brothers? Yeah. Yeah. Did you worry about them all the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened whenever they came back? Were you, was everybody excited and happy? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh -huh. If you had the chance to go back in time, is there anything that you would change? If I could go back, well, yeah, I'd change. I wouldn't have got married as young as you did. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, I was just too young. <laughs> of course, it was okay. I had a good life. It was hard, but it was good.